Hey, Marcus, it looked like early in summer camp, the pitchers were very much ahead of the hitters. What have you thought overall of the hitters progress in trying to find that timing? Um, timing is everything. Um, yeah, the guys, the pitchers were ahead a little bit, but um, our guys, the at-bats lately have been a lot better. Um, I like where we're at, but um, we still got a little, little ways to go. Um, guys continue to get their work in, and hopefully we can continue, continue to see some live pitching and th so they can get their timing down. What's the most difficult thing about trying to accomplish that, Marcus, in just a short period of time, knowing that the regular season begins in under a week now? Just we got to make sure they're getting their work in. Um, it's it's going to be a tough, it was a tough task, and it's going to be quick. But um, we have some really pros on our team, so they know what they need. And uh, myself and my assistant PJ, we make sure we're here and getting them everything they need to go, so we're ready to go um, on that first game against Washington. Because it's a short season, it seems as though getting off to a good start is more important than ever. Do you worry at all because there hasn't been a lot of time that guys are going to put even more pressure on themselves early on in this season to produce at the plate? That's our job to keep them loose. Um, just make sure they're going out, taking one at bat at a time, and just make sure we're having good at bats and let everything else take care of itself. And what have been some of the challenges in trying to get guys enough at bats and get guys enough work knowing that, uh, the facility is not what it would be down in Tampa. I mean, we try to make sure they come inside Meredith and use the machine and um, try to get as much much um, prep as we possibly can with the guys. And um, we've had a lot of pitchers, you know, Blake, Matt Blake's been having a lot of guys throw live VP. So we're just trying to make sure that we get the regulars and as many as bats as possible. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you. We can take the next question from Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, go ahead and unmute. Marcus, thanks for taking the time. How quickly do you think DJ LeMayhew could get up to speed, and why do you feel that way? Um, you know, we're going to take our time with him and make sure he's healthy, number one. You don't want to rush him. But um, um, DJ worked, worked really hard. You know, even when the shutdown was down in Tampa, he was there um, getting work in. But um, we're going to take it slow with him, and um, he'll, he'll let us know when he's ready. But um, we're not going to push him. We've got to make sure he get, get enough at-bats here with some live BPs and just make sure he's ready. Is there something about his skill set that may, you know, make him progress faster than a, a typical player would? He's among your, your, your best hitters. He's just, he's just a, he's a baseball rat, man. He knows the game. He knows his swing. Um, he knows what guys are trying to do to him. So that part will help him out, but still, he's still human. So he still has got to get some at-bats, and, and he's got to get some reps to make sure he's up to game speed. Thank you. Take the next question from Christy Ackert. Christy, go ahead. Hey, Marcus, I was just curious, what is it like having your hitters um, hit against the pitchers here? And, and what's the difference you hope they'll get out of facing other teams' pitchers over the weekend? You know, against our guys, they still want to get their bats. But when you're facing somebody else, you have that little edge to you. So um, guys are ready to see other guys now. Um, it's nice to face our guys, but um, getting ready to face the mess, I think that's going to help guys too. And they can get that edge back to, to go out and try to make sure they're ready to go against an opponent. Did you use any of the feedback from your pitchers? Did you hear any feedback about your hitters from them? We, I got a, I got a couple of things back from some guys, but um, but that's just that's a good thing. Um, um, Garrett likes to talk hitting because uh, he's he's such he's so <laughs> cerebral. So um, he'll come and ask me a question or two. But um, it was good feedback. But um, I like hearing stuff from our pitchers, just seeing what they're saying from my hitters. So it's a good thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take another question from Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney, go ahead. Hey, Marcus, with uh, time at the ballpark being a premium this year, what are some of the things you're working on to get guys who maybe are used to certain routines that have them coming in you know, so early in the day, kind of get them up to speed and ready for game time? Our guys usually have a set routine, Sweeney. Um, um, I'm not going to change anything with them. Uh, they'll tell me what they want to do and what they need to do, and I'll be here. Uh, myself and PJ will be here ready for them. But um, guys have set routines, and they're going to continue to follow that. They're just, um, they, they've been doing it so long, so they're going to continue to do the same thing. They're not going to be allowed to be at the ballpark quite as long, so are there things they're going to have to do to prepare before they get there? Well, our guys, they, they don't usually, the hitters, they get here at a certain time. Most guys get here around 2.30, 3 o'clock, so they have their set routines. We stretch at 3 3.45, 4 o'clock, so they'll, they'll make sure it, we'll make sure it works for them. Thanks, Marcus. Take another question from Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead. Hi, Marcus. Thank you so much uh, for giving us a few minutes. Marcus, when we were down in Tampa, you had talked about the protocol part, right? Like the wearing the gloves, how careful you guys mm -hmm. um, have been. 
now that we have all these protocols in place, what are the hardest ones to deal with and which one has been have been the easier ones uh, to manage as, as we've started this uh, quote unquote summer camp? So wearing the mask in a cage is tough, but we have to do it to stay safe. Um, we're not wearing gloves, but we have a lot of sanitizer all in the cages. So uh, myself and my assistant, we pick up the balls. We try not to let the guys pick them up. Just trying to do everything we possibly can to stay safe and keep those guys safe, safe also. Thank you. Take another from James Wagner. James, go ahead. Hey, Marcus. What's up? Hope you and the family are well. Uh, I'm just curious, like, you know, during the shutdown and even going forward, like, what tools did you use for guys that you couldn't see, uh, like when they were at home hitting? Did you ask them to shoot videos of themselves? Like, what are you gonna? Are you gonna? Any tools you use then? You might use going forward because of the limits on size and congregating and working out. Like, what did you guys do then? We, yeah, we did. Um, I have guys send me video, and um, I have my own iPad, and I will just match video up and just talk with guys. Um, James, I didn't really bug them too much because I knew it was a hard time for everybody. But um, whenever they wanted, wanted to send me a video, my assistant video, they did. And we would, we would talk hitting and um, just try to keep it simple and um, just make sure they were ready to go when, when it was time for us to start up. And I guess you guys obviously always use video, but is that something that you might have to lean more on now because they can't always, you can't give as much instruction to every single guy given the limits on space and stuff going forward. I guess we'll have to just use that more. Yes, we will. We'll have to. We'll, we'll myself and my, my assistant will talk and you know, we'll shoot videos to guys at night and stuff like that just to make sure that we're seeing everything we need to see.